The MG TD Roadster is the first replica that Prototype Research began manufacturing back in 1981. The car has become the company's signature vehicle with shipments all over the world. I believe people really relate to this car. Nostalgic value is very, very powerful because back, uh, the people that are buying these types of cars today are primarily people that, uh, they were in high school, they were in university when this car was being produced brand new. As a result, they have a tremendous uh, you know, value for it. There is a strong following for this car because of the British Commonwealth. Uh, also because they were, were so popular when they were new. There was many, many thousands of these automobiles brought to Canada. And as I said earlier, give, sold to, uh, to the young high school people, the young university people, you know, the young doctors, the young lawyers, the young uh, wannabe engineers, etc. Uh, those people were strong buyers for this sort of thing. And if they didn't uh, have them or if they couldn't afford them, then chances are mom and dad at home probably had one. This car has never gone out of style because it's still a 1952 appearance. And uh, w with that, uh, I mean, they never go down in value. I mean, uh, they pretty well keep a constant. With the uh, MGTD series car, historically, people expect to see the engine in the front of this car. However, when we originally started producing this car, we all only built this car in rear engine. Now we do produce this car in front engine, and when we do that in the front engine, it has a four-cylinder Chevrolet engine with a four-speed manual gearbox. With our rear engine car, we produce this car with a, uh, a new 1600cc Volkswagen engine. Yes, it's not exactly like the original car because this car was never rear engine, but this car gives you 41 miles a gallon. It's 1600cc Volkswagen, and with the Volkswagen-powered MG, every component mechanically is Volkswagen. So from servicing standpoint, anybody can service a Volkswagen, especially an air-cooled 1600 cc. And if they can't, then you can take it to your local Volkswagen dealership and it's very easily serviced and maintained. Under the hood, or in the trunk in this case, is exactly where the owners of most British cars have the most frustration especially when it comes to anything involving electricity. We upgraded the electrical system in these cars immensely. We put a state-of-the-art wiring loom into them with a full fuse panel board and a circuit breaker system, uh, which is far superior than the original, because the originals did have uh, some electrical problems. One of the uh, good attributes for this automobile is it is fiberglass and it's rust-free. It never will rust or corrode, where the originals, they did have a problem with inherent rusting, because the bodies were made out of black iron steel, which certainly did rust, and the floor pans and door jams on these cars were unfortunately all made out of wood, which uh, throughout the duration of time uh, got weak and uh, got rotten and the cars basically fell apart. The body may be fiberglass and the engine a Volkswagen or Chev, but the craftsmanship is on a par with the original. We've been producing replicas since 1981. Uh, we have engineered the car extremely well before we bring it onto the marketplace. As a result, we historically haven't changed our design work much. Uh, yes, we have made some perfections in electricity on the automobiles with, with better circuit boards, better fuse panels, etc. But for the most part, uh, when we design it, we like to design it as best possible. And uh, as a result, we don't change it from time to time. It's a very fun car in the aspect that uh, it's easy to drive, gives you 41 miles a gallon, and uh, it, has, it has most of the creature comforts, but it also has the sports car effect. You've got the stereo system, you've got all those types of things, but it does have the sports car effect. Top down, wind in your hair, bugs in your teeth, and all those neat things. And once again, the common denominator with all of these vehicles can be found at the bottom of the sale contract. We asked about the others, so why stop now? The MGTD, the original one, uh, in this day and age, will sell anywhere from $15,000 to $25,000, depending on its quality of restoration. You can purchase one of these cars for as little as $18,500 from us, and, uh, but there is an inherent difference there. It doesn't rust, doesn't corrode, and if this car does break down on you from time to time, you can easily get it serviced and repaired. The original British uh, MGTD, it's a little awkward to get it repaired. You have to know the right people to get it repaired and serviced. And uh, more importantly, you have to really know the right people that you can actually uh, purchase the parts from. 
You won't win any trophies at a classic car show, but at least you won't have to worry about it breaking down on the way home. <laughs>